thank you very much for watching my channel please before you continue to watch this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video so i want to show you how to disable the remote desktop service on your client devices so let's say you don't want um if you work in an enterprise environment and for security reasons you don't want people to just be using remote desktop connection to actually connect to device or you just want just a specific group of people to be able to actually use remote desktop service so what you need to do is first of all i'm going to start the group policy management so i already created a shortcut um here what you can actually do to start the group policy management you can as well go to your tools and here in tools we have the group policy management which will of course take you to the same group policy management which i just opened so i'm going to create a new policy in my domain so let me just go to where my computers are and i want to actually block all these devices let me just say um let me just show you so i want to block all the all these devices from actually accessing um remote desktop connection or from from using remote desktop connection so what i need to do is i need to create a gpo in this domain and link it here so let me just call this block uh, remote desktop service and click OK. So here I'm going to actually just click right click on the um, GPO we just created and click edit. So this is going to be a computer configuration policy. So what I need to do is I will need to click on my on computer configuration. So just click policies and then policies you will need to click the administrative template. And here we do it just to scroll down and check for Windows components. So Windows components, let me just try and enlarge this a little bit. So I'm going to look for the remote desktop. Think for the arrow. And here we have the remote desktop service. So click it. And in remote desktop service, let's search for the remote desktop session host. And here we're going to look for the connections. So in the connections, we have different options here, which we can actually configure. But right now, I'm interested in, let me expand this a little bit, allow users to connect remotely by using the remote desktop service. So I'm going to double click this and I'll click select disabled. So here you can see this policy settings allows you to configure remote access to computer by using remote desktop service. So it's going to tell you actually if you disable, if you enable the service, what is going to happen. And if you disable the service, the policy as well, what is going to happen? So I'm going to click apply. And I'm going to click OK. So what I need to do, let me just close close this. And here there's a policy. So this policy is going to actually affect the authenticated user. But I'm going to add the domain computers as well. So when I add a domain computer, it's not going to affect all the domain computers. It's going to only affect the domain, the computers which are actually in this organization unit. So I have a computer here, which is called the C001. Right now, if I go to, let me just go to, let me right, right click. I'm going to system. And let me go to system info. And you're under advanced system settings. So let me just enter my name. Because to open the advanced system, you would actually need your um, admin credentials to actually do that because a user who doesn't have admin credentials will not be allowed to actually open the system properties of the admin advanced system settings. So here you can see that the remote, um, the remote desktop is actually on allow remote connection to this computer. So right now I have disabled it. So let me just cancel this and let me just try to update my policy. Let me just start a command prompt and do a GP update and force. And let me close this window. Let me close this. So let's wait for the policy to actually apply and the policy is being applied right now. So let me go back again to my system advanced properties and see what happens. So let me go back to my system. And our system info. Advance. So let me enter my admin credentials. I 
and if I go to remote you can see that right now the um, choose an option and then of course if the user cannot even um, does not even have the option to actually um, change to allow remote connection you can see it has been grayed out and it's also disabled so that is how you disable the um, allow remote desktop connection for devices but if for example I want to actually allow users to be able to connect to this computer what should I do or if I want um, some devices here to be able to connect to remote desktop so what am I going to do is this so I'm going to go to delegation and here on the advanced so here in advanced if I click on the domain computers you can see the, pol the policy is being applied so what you need to do is to create a security group add the device that you want to be able to have um, that should be able to connect to using remote desktop connection and what you need to do is to add that um, security group to become a member here and then what you need to do is you need to deny this instead of um, apply the policy you need to deny this policy to that security group so by doing that every single device in that group will be able to access the, um, to will, will be able to use the remote desktop connection thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video my name is kelvin johnson and please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to share my video subscribe to my youtube channel leave a, con a comment or send me an email and i'll reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much and see you next time bye